Welcome everyone to NMSU's Metaversity. My name is Andrew Cedillo. I'm the Director of Micro-Credentials Instructional Design, and I have with me my colleague. I'm Colleen Cleveland. I'm one of the instructional designers here, and today we have... Sure, my name is Jeff Longwell. I'm from the Department of Languages and Linguistics here at NMSU. I've been teaching here for more years than I'd like to, <laughs> but <laughs> I, I really enjoyed the opportunity that we've had to grow and use this new technology and looking forward to this opportunity as well. Yeah, so one thing we're really excited about having Jeff in our Metaversity today is we're going to talk about some experiences he had with virtual reality last semester and some really neat experiences that he has planned for this semester. Um, so Jeff, do you want to share a little bit of information about how you used virtual reality in the fall of 2023? Yeah, you bet. Uh, last semester, I had the opportunity to use uh, reality with a Spanish 4 class. And Spanish 4 classes was geared mostly towards trying to improve student conversation skills. And so a lot of the activity we did in, in virtual reality were, were trying to engage them in, in real setting conversations. You know, we did things like having a watch party where we watched um, some uh, YouTube videos together. We had a music festival where we also watched some some YouTube uh, Spanish music videos together, and they were uh, asked to share uh, their videos as, as we uh, visited in a little park you know, for a music festival. One of the favorite activities seemed to be um, an Iron Chef competition, where we used some of the objects in VR, you know, the the setting was an actual kitchen, and and we gave students their ingredient, their secret ingredient, and they were able to uh, share what they would prepare with those things. All in all, as I visited with students at the end of the semester, a couple of them in particular shared the the experience in VR, since they were all online students and were kind of out on their own in different places, that the VR experience for them made it feel like they were actually able to uh, feel like they were part of a class, part of uh, an actual live experience. When uh, and, and so it allowed them to connect in a different, in a way that they wouldn't have been able to before. Well, so yeah, the, I, overall it was a positive experience and looking forward to trying to you know, implement other types of, of lessons in the future. Great. Thanks for sharing that. Can you tell us a little bit about your uh, spring 2024 course? You bet. So the the course this semester, once I got the experience last semester with it, uh, I should have mentioned in my introduction, I'm also the graduate coordinator for our master's in Spanish uh, program here at NMSU. And one of the classes that I teach on a regular basis is called Teaching Spanish with Technology. And, and every iteration of that class, um, we obviously try to look at the most up-to-date things, uh, things that, there's, that students will be interested in, things that will motivate students to, to continue learning and try new things. And so when I had the experience last semester with VR and and had this class, the teaching with technology class uh, on the books for this coming spring semester. You know, I was literally clamoring for the opportunity to share this with with my uh, master's degree students. Um, one of the benefits is that all of the students in that class are are currently either teaching assistants here at NMSU or actual ones. Uh, teachers across the country in, in elementary schools, middle schools, or high schools, or they want to be teachers in the future. And so, you know, this is an opportunity that we'll have this semester to explore this technology. They'll be able to develop some lessons that they'll be able to use with their students. And so it's going to be a fun collaborative effort to see what all we can do. Uh, so, Jeff, um, what are some of your goals for this year as far as student experiences? Um, are you thinking um, more role play? Are you thinking more games? Are you thinking uh, just uh, things out of the box? 
Well, so I think I'll just continue a little bit of what I said with the experience from last to where the students felt that they were actually, you know, in a classroom with other people in spite of, you know, just being at home working on their computers or in their, you know, living rooms or, or offices. So my goal is to in, engage students in uh, a new way. Um, I'd like for them to explore their, their own interests. So I like the game, gamification aspect because I know there will be some who were attracted to that. And I think that this just opens us up to, uh, you know, reach uh, students and motivate them in a different way than they might be normally, you know, because we do have some folks that already have the equipment. We do have some students that don't, but, you know, opening up this experience, I think, is the is my biggest goal to let them see what they can do or what you know, the future brings for our profession. So. Yeah, and so now that you've gotten opportunities to use virtual reality in the classroom, you've experienced it firsthand as an instructor. Uh, you've used it now for meetings. So what are your initial thoughts about virtual reality in general, and how do you see it playing a role in language learning in the future? Well, so the initial experience, um, you know, after getting the usual tech issues that some we stumble with, and I'm no different than others, obviously some digital native students won't have that problem. I see this, uh, especially with language learning, as, uh, you know, an opportunity to have students have the real experience of immersing themselves in the language and the culture, you know, because in virtual reality, we can go visit the places that they see pictures of in their in their books and or watch movies of, you know, but we can set up situations to where it's not just, you know, us sitting in a, in a desk or at a table talking to each other, you know, we can actually be in a cafe or we can, we can go walking through the streets or the parks or or historical sites and things that, that students only uh, can dream about. And this kind of puts them in the, that situation. So for me, it's the possibility to provide real-world experience for them that is, again, most attractive and I think what will continue to, to motivate them. Also, you know, a lot of them are, are are used to, you know, when I ask what your favorite activity is, and I, and I think we need to pay attention to this as educators, one of their favorite activities is always playing, they say in Spanish, video juegos, video games. And so, you know, I think this kind of puts them in a in a world that they're already used to living in with with their with their games, no matter what they are. And so if we can bring that learning opportunity into that world, then I think it's a new way to motivate them to be interested in our, in the subject. So, Great. And that's about all the questions I have for today. Colleen, is there anything you wanted to ask? Uh, no, but I look forward to seeing what happens during the class. Yeah, it's going to be exciting. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, thank you, Jeff. You bet. Thank you, Andrew. Thank you, Colleen.